Welcome. My name is Larry Davis. I'm the owner operator of the Jam Spot Music and the JSM.com, both of which are music stores. Uh, I'm here to give basic lessons on uh, how to properly play guitar from beginning, the foundations of guitar. We've gone through three different episodes already, and now this particular one we're going to talk about capos. I know I've talked about it in the last two lessons that I was going to talk about capos, but now I am. Capo is a very necessary tool for any guitar player to have, especially if you play any sort of Nashville songs, whether country, uh, bluegrass, anything. You need a capo. Folk music, they're very important. So the first time you open up that tab on ultimate, ultimateguitar.com and it says capo at four, you're like, what is that? You know, but that will incredibly change your sound. Is what that means is you take a capo. This particular model here is a Jim. No, wait a second. This is a Kaiser. I'm sorry. This is a Kaiser capo, spring loaded. They're really easy to put on and off. And the beauty of them is they rest on your neck head when you're not using them. So when you do need to, you just grab it and you stick it on. Now, is what this does is this actually becomes your guitar nut. This is the guitar nut right here. This guitar nut and this bridge down here is what chain is is your string length. That's what makes your string length. That's what makes your guitar work. Now, if you put this on the second fret, which is right here, and pinches it, it squeezes all these strings tight, super tight, and then it actually becomes your second fret becomes your nut. So now your string length your string length has changed from the second fret to your bridge. So you're going to be a lot higher pitch now since you've done that. You're changing your tuning 100%. So you can actually play different chords by knowing the same chords. So if we know, we've already gone through G, D, C, and E minor, and you may have picked up chords along the way from some other place, but we're going to keep with them chords for this lesson. So is, is what we're going to do is we have those chords now under our belt, we're going to put the uh, capo on two, and we're going to play the same chords with this being our nut. So this is going to be the second fret, third fret, etc. Now this is also G, D, C, and E minor. Now as you can tell, the sound completely different. They're actually not G, C's, D's, or E's. No longer, they're different chords, uh, which off the top of my head, I don't know what they are. I'd have to actually look at it. But, Nonetheless, capo tuning will actually, on a tab, it'll say, okay, put a capo at two, and then it'll give you the standard chords. It'll tell you G, C, D, uh, whatever. And that's, that'll actually change the tuning of your song. Now, when it comes to Nashville, there's a lot of really famous and well-known songs that are done with capos. But if you're trying to be a cover band, you're going to look at that. If you're trying to be your own artist, then you want to match your vocals. You know, however your vocal key is, you may be better playing with a capo at two or a capo at four, just depending on what your vocal pattern is, what your key of your vocals are. Uh, that, that's really important too. Now, the, the, the capo has been well known for a lot of famous songs. Uh, if you put it on let's see, three, five, seven, and you play the D chord, it's really high pitched, but it may sound familiar. That, of course, is Here Comes the Sun, and that is done with the capo on seventh. So if you want to play Here Comes the Sun, yeah, you can do it without the capo on D. But it's not going to sound correct because you're not in the right key. So a capo may be something you want to add to your list of things that you have to have for the guitar. Absolutely necessary if you're going to be a country artist. That's it for today's lesson. It was brief. It was mainly about capos, but stay in tune. We are going to have more, and that is the truth. Stay in tune all the time. All right? Over and out.